I want to talk about high alcoholic beer now. And so we, a good colleague of ours has uh, brought on a sample. Don't know what it is. We know it's high alcohol. And uh, I was thinking of doing a small competition, putting it through the instrument, and then we two have to guess what the actual alcohol is. Are you down for that? I am. Cool. Bring it on. Let's get it through the instrument to start out with them. It's a viscous fella. So pour it into the sample and press go. And now we're measuring. And I think we should measure as well. So get some sample. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. There's a lot of alcohol in this one, that's for yes. sure. Yes, <laughs> I definitely agree. Very tasty though. Mm -hmm. um, yes. It also has some uh, some barrel character. Definitely some barrel yes. character. So we can take that into account yeah. when guessing. And uh, yeah, I would say it's it's re relatively high. Uh, I would guess maybe it's almost like it's very vinous. I would guess maybe eighteen percent. Good guess. All right. I think my guess is a bit lower, maybe. I think we are around 17, maybe 16.8. 16.8. Yeah, I think I will go with that. While it uh, measures, Sophie, maybe you could talk a bit about how you actually produce high alcoholic beers. Yes. Yeah. So the way you produce high alcoholic beers is of course um, finding a, a yeast strain that can tolerate a lot of alcohol to begin with. Then you brew a high gravity wort. So you want to put as much or build as much sugar into your wort as possible. So the yeast has a lot of sugar to produce alcohol from. So yeah, when you have your your wort and you add your yeast and also a lot of oxygen for the yeast to grow and also of course yeast nutrients because the yeast will be a bit stressed producing that much alcohol. So this is where it's really really nice to have the beer fuzz instrument uh, while uh, this high gravity beer is fermenting because you can actually follow the fermentation and you can uh, follow whether you have like a stock fermentation or you maybe need to adjust something, add some more nutrients. Uh, and this is just really nice when producing these very high ABV beers. Then you, we also talked a bit about barrel aging in, in regards to, so can you explain just a couple of words on, on what that means? Yeah, so, so after you have uh, completed the primary fermentation of your beer, you can put the beer into barrels uh, and these can for instance be old cognac barrels or whiskey barrels and of course the barrel contains maybe some whiskey in the bottom or so or something else so the so the alcohol can you know be elevated a little bit because of it staying in the barrel so while the beer is in the barrel, it's also gonna concentrate, so some moisture will evaporate, and this will also increase uh, the alcohol of the beer. Um, so yeah, in this way, a barrel can elevate. And the that's uh, with barrel aging and high alcoholic beers in general. That's some of the reasons why we actually think it's important to measure because you have this extra pickup that you can't detect with normal measurement methods. You have a, a disproportionate dilution of your watery substance that you normally have in beer with a lot of alcohol. Water weighs differently than alcohol. Alcohol is a bit lighter, but as Sophie said, you also have a more concentrated wort. You have more density in general. And that means that you have like both higher and lower. So the normal formulas for actually calculating your ABV will have an offset. And that offset can be influenced by so many things that you don't really know. So having a direct method where you go in 
IR sharp peaks in the spectra, we are really good at looking at where you can actually see alcohol. This is something that are fun to look at compared to normal methods with our instrument, because you actually get a very accurate results on alcohol. And we are actually now uh, done measuring, and we can see. Ooh, it's. It's, it's a very, very high, high ABV, so there's definitely been some concentration and some alcohol pickup in the barrel. We are at 19.7%, so... Well done, Nicolai. No, none of <laughs> us were actually correct. It was higher than we expected, uh, which, is, uh, which is quite interesting. And we have a caloric count of 137 kilocalories, which is a quite hefty one. Uh, so it's, it's definitely up there, is also, also what we see. So, should we check out what we have yeah. been drinking? Let's look at it. Ah, the brewery. The brewery. So, this is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with cocoa nibs and coffee. And it holds 19.1% alcohol. It's a heavy one. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.